Hey everyone, welcome back to another very exciting Unity VFX tutorial. And today we're going to be working on creating this super cool shader based tunnel effect that you see here on the screen right now. To make this effect, we're going to be going through quite a few different set of tools so that we can generate the individual pieces required for the final composition, which is why this tutorial will be split up into several parts. In each part, we'll focus on a specific tool in the pipeline, which I think will make it easier for people to reference and learn from, as well as make it easier for me to actually do the full tutorial and edit later on. In this overview, we'll just briefly cover what this effect consists of, as well as the tools we'll be using in later parts. So if we go into Unity's editor, you can see that this effect is 3D and more or less made up of a bunch of animated materials attached to open-ended cylinders, like this. It's even got this bonus particle effect right here just to show you how it can be customized whichever way you want. You can stretch it out and animate the scale if you want to create a sort of warp tunnel for space games, or portals for sci-fi, you know, things. It's really all just up to you. The main tools we'll be looking at, aside from Unity of course, are Filter Forge, Photoshop, Shader Forge, Pro Builder, Unity's Post Processing Stack, and Ultimate VFX. If we go ahead and take a closer look at the materials attached to the cylinders, you'll see that there are a few texture inputs that define the core look of this effect. For the noise textures, we'll use Filter Forge, and for the gradient masks, we'll use Photoshop. There are several other properties exposed to the material that the shader can use to change things up, like the color, scroll speed, and the actual noise distortion amount, right? So we have very little distortion versus full distortion like that on any of these cylinders using different materials. The shader itself will be assembled in Shader Forge, since having a visual node-based editor for shaders makes everything just easier and more fun. Then, we'll head on over to using ProBuilder right inside Unity to create the properly UV map cylinder template. You can use Blender, or Maya, or whatever other 3D modeling package you want, but using ProBuilder allows us to have a tighter pipeline which is good for rapid prototyping and efficiency. After that, all this bloom and stuff will be handled by Unity's post-processing stack, so we'll go over the main settings needed to get this look. And then, finally, we'll be touching on using Ultimate VFX to add in particles because particles usually make things better and prettier. Alright, so that's all for the overview, and whenever you're ready, we can start. See you soon!